Hello, Zero K fans. Welcome to Nanalids at Dawn. This is Shadow Fury 333, your host, and we're gonna have a friendly best of three between Google Frog and Aquanim, starting on Zed. This map is a little bit odd. It's also very shiny. It also hasn't had the DDS flipping issue resolved yet with the skybox. Really wish they would do that. Skybox is nice and pretty. Why can't they have it reflect properly? Anyway, that aside, the yeah, so this map is a map that really does favor bots a lot more than vehicles. Vehicles can go along the top section. There's very clear Z, as you can see in the top section. And then all these ramps here, those are bot passable. Down here and over here. So you end up with a situation where players tend to meet up in the center. And there tends to be a nice front line here. But with bots, you can get around it and behind it and do other shenanigans. With vehicles, though, you can't. So both players naturally going for bots because that's the thing that works best spider bots for google frog in fact spider bots especially this is a very cliffy map which means that they can go around the cliffs here and they don't have to worry about anything they just go around the cliffs and it works Akinem, whoever going for shield bots very solid choice shield bots right now are considered to be if not better than clogy bots at least more reliable they've gotten a lot more popular recently and i'm not entirely sure why but yeah, they've just... They've become popular recently. I think in large part because of the jump bot matchup. Cloakie versus jump bot has... As it's been explored, has been found to be more and more jump bot favored. But shield bots are generally solid factory. There's very little that they can't really deal with. When it comes to the jump bot matchup, it's more like dealing with puppies. becomes a lot easier with bandits than with glaives. And I think dealing with, with the pyros in general is easier. And Akinems has gone for shield bots. Now, of course, versus spider bots, it's interesting. But I haven't really seen the spider bot versus shield bot matchup that much. I've seen spider bot versus cloaky bot a lot. Cloaky bot always goes for Rockos, and then spider has to deal with that. Shield bot, however, because of the higher health of the shield bot units, it's. Well, not so much the bandit. The bandit still gets stunned out in one shot. It's interesting because it can work better, however, EMP damage actually works really well against shields. And Venom is quite core. And Recluse is also really inaccurate, which shields work well, it works well against shields because of its inaccuracy. So that's going to be interesting. Now, both players are expanding pretty much about the same rate. Both players have about the same amount of energy. Neither player really making any mistakes economically. Both of them pretty solid on that. Google Frog going in for a bit of a Venom harassment. Akinem, however, does see this coming. They have it on their radar. So they know it's on the way. And they are already setting up some Lotuses to deal with that. But that Lotus, is that going to be able to deal with it in time? It's five seconds left. That's pretty close. A nice little Fleet harassment there on the Convicts. And it looks like... Good choice in the Racketeers, but that... That Lotus is up. And it will be effective enough. Thanks to the Disarm of the Racketeer, getting those Venoms back with their own, well, not quite their own medicine, but very close to. Disarm at least stops them from attacking and stops them from disabling everything. Really good choice by Akronim there. I mean, that's the thing. I was, about to, I was thinking Racketeer might be okay, but apparently it's actually really good. Apparently it's a very, very good choice in this matchup. I, I'm not surprised. At all. So yeah, Racketeer Bandit right now can be fairly fairly powerful. Once the Hermits get up here, the Racketeers will be a bit less powerful, but still useful. If they can make sure to target those Venoms, then they'll be fine. But Google Frog coming in to get rid of this Racketeer because it does not want... This should not happen, in theory. Not, for, not on Google Frog's watch. And that Racketeer is gone. Racketeer's down, so Google Frog continuing to be in a pretty decent position, pumping out more fleas. So this, from here, I'm guessing we'll probably see outlaws to deal with the fleas most effectively. Though we may just see bandits. I mean, bandits would work pretty well to deal with fleas. Actum getting another racketeer because they kind of need it for dealing with those venoms. That's extremely handy. Because I don't think we're at least not for now we're going to see too many thugs, just because, like I said, the EMP damage works really well against shields. And it's also got a bit of a splash. So I don't expect to see that. 
Not for now. Not until Venom stops being used. Like, not until we get to the later stage of the game, where we see more Hermit, Crab, maybe some Recluse. Probably will still see a lot of Venom usage then. But it won't be quite as... A, it won't be quite as much there. Won't be as big of an issue. Anachronim not able to really do too much. Good low displacement by Google Frog. Please didn't really help too much. Bit of a distraction, I suppose, but yeah, the Lotus is that's what really did the damage. So nicely done there. Google Frog anticipating that. Akinem not quite as well prepared, but still fairly well prepared. I don't think Google Frog would be able to get through without too without trouble, but at the same time, if they go along here, they could just go along the cliff and come around the back. I'm a little surprised Google Frog hasn't done that, but this is the only time they'd start doing it. They, with the Hermits, that's when I could see them starting to do this. That or maybe Redbacks, but against Shields, I don't think Google Frog's going to bother too much with Redbacks. They'd get disabled pretty quickly, and they'd also just... Dealing with Outlaws would be problematic, just because of the range difference. But I think mainly the, the disabling's the problem. And Akinem with a with an Athena. Is Akinem going to be set, building up some units from behind Google Frog's base? Around the Geoplant, maybe? Not sure. Mainly getting Athena in order to build all the units it can build wherever you want. It That's basically all it can do. And a caretaker. But yeah, all it does is build units. Kind of a mobile factory. But no, it looks like Google Frog actually going for a direct assault with Hermits. Not trying to sneak around. I, I find that interesting. Google Frog is not using the cliffs to sneak around. I find that a little bit strange, honestly. But no, it appears that that is not what's going on, and Stag Defense 4 is going in Aquanum's favor. Sorry, Google Fox here from the looks of it. Aquanum barely able to hold on, but no, that's not going to work. So Google Frog able to take the center of the map, which is a very strong position to take, and I think at this point, Aquanum needs to really reconsider what they're building. Getting some roaches, good reconsideration. Just the Hermits, like I said before, they kind of shut down the Racketeers due to their health. Otherwise, it's... Yeah, there's not much really you can do. They get rid of the Venoms, but nothing else. They get rid of... They get rid of Redbacks if they were to come up. They don't get rid of Hermits. Not much does, really. Like, Thugs would be okay, but yeah, this is the one thing. Hermits do... What'd you count with Hermits? Rogues and Thugs, I think, would be the way to go. Thugs to defend things, because they do have a pretty powerful shot, and rogues to actually deal the damage. Although the bandits are doing okay, it's just... Bandits are tricky to use just because of the micro requirements. But it looks like that's... Yeah, no, like, you just need a lot of them, you need a lot of them to be microing around a lot. Just swarming around properly. And Aquanim at this point appears to be falling down. The Racketeer nowhere in position. I mean, yeah, the Racketeer doesn't completely shut down all these Hermits. But it could shut down one or two. Shutting down a Radar is useful, though, but I don't know if it's that useful. No, not particularly. There are enough Radars here. Actually, I don't even think it's shut down. Oh, no, there's a second Radar. That's why. But yeah, so that's the thing. That Radar is not a good target. Not sure if Akinem knows it, but Akinem is going for the Roach, and at least the Roach is hard to hit with these Hermits. Nice placement on the... Ro two Roaches, actually. Two Roaches hitting in there. Dealing some damage, but not dealing enough damage. The Hermits still just powering on through. They don't care. They really do not care. The Recluses are doing what they can as well, but once again, they don't care. Yeah, okay, that's what the Athena was for. Setting up Spiders to fight Spiders. And then moderators to fight the rest. Interesting choice. But yes, that's good to know. Shield versus Spider is a tricky matchup. Although it looked like... I mean, the Racketeer was a good idea. That really worked well. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see more of that. I'd like to see that explored more, because I think Racketeer is a good way to go. I'm a bit surprised that Rogues weren't used. I'm not surprised Thugs and Outlaws weren't used. Outlaws would have been somewhat useful against the Fleas, but it's, that's a lot of investment for one unit to counter. Thugs? Yeah, that's a tough call. I don't think I would have necessarily gone for them. But yeah, rogues are a thing I think that would have worked fairly well. Like, rogue bandit against all of these hermits? 
that probably would have worked okay, and then we would have switched, seen a switch over probably back to... Either, no, not back to Venom. Probably from there, switch over to more Fleas, so maybe an Outlaw just in the Rogue mix, just in case Fleas come in. That should cover most cases. And then a few Thugs for Shields, or a few Convicts for Shields. But no, I didn't see that. So, I think that the Shield versus Spider-Bot matchup deserves more exploration. But that is one of the... F it's the only times I've... I, I don't see that matchup much. Normally I see Cloakie versus Spider. I don't usually see Shield versus Spider. So I want to see more of that. But we'll see if that comes up in the next game, because this is a bit of a best free between Google Frog and Aquatum. So next game is going to be on Titan Duel. So that'll be a vehicle-heavy game. Probably won't see Shield Bot versus Spider Bot again. I'd be very surprised if we did. More likely to see Light Vehicle versus Hovercraft. Anyway, that'll be up in just a moment, so stay tuned. <laughs>